fun to dream big and if you're looking for a house with a little more space, there are some big homes on the market with a big price tag. And joining us this morning is Adam Yopes. Good morning. Thank you for coming in. Yes, thanks for having me. You're welcome. This is always so much fun to look at these homes and see what they have inside. It is. It's fun for me too. That's awesome. <laughs> so the first one is on is in Ricerstown on Dover Road. That's right. So what we're seeing in the luxury home market right now is a lot, a lot more outdoor living area, mm -hmm. which is particularly interesting. It's elaborate. Uh, a lot more guest houses on these properties as well. And so we're starting to see a lot of these um, properties are intended for entertaining. Uh, outdoor living spaces with upgrades and amenities, patios, terraces, Big things like that. Big bars with flat screen TVs, I imagine. Yes, yeah, some yeah, of that as well. A lot of that. Okay, so that one was just just under $10 million. We're, we're going to go a little cheaper now with a <laughs> $6 million home, and this one is in Edgewater. Yeah, that's right. So. Again, the, out, the outdoor amenities is all the rage right now. We're starting to see things that are even more elaborate, like outdoor kitchenettes. Uh, wow. where you is have, that what this house has? Yeah, a lot of these houses have similar characteristics mm -hmm. that way. Among the more common characteristics on this list is a water view. That seems to be in demand right now. That seems to be all the rage. Uh, and again, it's outdoor living space with intention to uh, to have a party and, and host events. That looks like one of those Newport mansions, you know, on the water like that. So then we're going to go to Annapolis for a house just under six million. Right. So uh, what we're seeing in the luxury home market mm -hmm. right now is a steadily increase of activity. So uh, we're seeing buyer demand pick up slightly wow. uh, a little bit, and particularly in Baltimore Metro, mm -hmm. where we've had recently um, last year there was over close to 400 houses that sold over a million dollars. Oh my gosh. And so that's an increase of about 22% over last year's numbers. So we're starting to see an increase of activity in this area, in this luxury home market. Look at that pool, that's in Severna Park. That's not too shabby. I'll take it. Wow, <laughs> no kidding. Are you seeing infinity pools in these houses? Um, infinity pools, uh -huh. as I mentioned, the outdoor living spaces right. are all the rage. That one's in Child's Point. Oh, that looks neat. It almost looks like a lazy river. Oh, it's Have nice. you actually seen a lazy river in anyone's backyard? <laughs> I have not yet. Not yet. Um, okay. I've seen pools with mm -hmm. um, uh, slides and things of that nature. That looks like a mansion. Oh yeah, yeah. These are very nice houses. That's in Hunt Valley. That's going for a seventy-seven million two hundred thousand. Oh my gosh, on Cuba right. Road. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen any homes with uh, swimming pools inside? Um, there are a few. Yes, mm -hmm. there are a few on the list. Fourteen million on Holly Beach Farm Road in Annapolis. What does that house have? Yeah, that better have everything. All kinds for of things. Now, a lot of these houses have the same things, like the smart home technology with right. the voice controlled systems, music throughout the house. So twelve, twelve five. That's got to be what at the Ritz or like one of the condos. Yeah, we're getting okay. up there now. Or is that these the whole are, building for twelve five? For goodness sake, it's not the whole. Building. It's not the whole building. <laughs> Okay, and then I think we have another one, um, a penthouse on Key Highway too. Yeah, we've seen a few of the uh, the places in this particular property go on the market, uh, and in years past. So it's yeah, these are all wonderful places. We can just keep showing these homes. It's awesome. What is the coolest thing that you've seen in a house? Well, what we're starting to see a lot more of is, um, again, it's the attention to the outdoor living space is yeah. critical. Uh, one of the more interesting things that I've noticed is that there's no one style that makes the cut. Um, these houses range in styles, they range in ages. They're unique. They're very unique and they're customized to the owner. Okay, all right. Let's see what we can do about getting pictures of the inside of these houses. That way we can talk even more. Sure. We can dish even more. It's so cool. All right, thank you, Adam, so much You're for welcome. coming in. Don't